Oh my gosh, you guys, I just got to Samoa and I'm at the Sheraton Hotel. It looks so awesome. I can't wait to show you guys this cool hotel. And when I got picked up, they even gave me this lay. They, they smell so good, you guys. These smell, it smells like flowers. It's so nice. I'm so excited. I have to turn you guys around and show you this hotel. Okay, guys. So first we have the bathroom. They actually give you these loofahs, which I think are like, that's like so cool. I don't know that many hotels that just like give a loofah. And they have the Samoa water. So you come in, they give you a little bit of fruit here. They have like the coffee and the tea down here. And then as you walk out, you get this amazing view of the beach, you guys. It's a beachfront property. I'm so excited to go walk out there. I'm so excited. This is gonna be so much fun. This is so awesome. Ah! Oh, you guys, this beach is so pretty. You guys, I ordered room service and I got some New Zealand rump steak and they gave me some fries and this is some kind of pink mocktail. Everything looks so good. I'm so excited. All right, it's the next morning and we're gonna go get some breakfast. This looks like an amazing breakfast buffet. I'm so excited and I'm the first one here. <laughs> Ooh, this looks so good. This is some kind of date, dates loaf and banana muffins. Have some toast over here. Some bacon. French toast. Oh, I'm so excited for this. This is a Samoan dish. I've never had this before. It's like papaya and coconut. All right. I fed one of them and then another one came. <laughs> They're little island cats. <laughs> you guys, it is really humid here in Samoa. <laughs> I definitely had to put my hair up today because it is just really sticky, sticky, sticky. Let me try to show you guys this condensation on this window. You can see like how wet it is here. <laughs> um, but today I am going over to the, the Western Island in Samoa. I'm super, super excited. I'm gonna make a special video just for this island. Um, I'm gonna be driving around the entire island and seeing all of the different, um, the different tourist attractions and you know just all of the nature and everything. I will put that into a different video. So I'm gonna keep all of this, just American Samoa, Samoa, and then I'll make a separate video for that that other island because I don't think a lot of people go there. Guys, we are headed over to American Samoa via Talofa Air Airways. They do about six or seven flights per day in this tiny little plane. <laughs>
you just have US? You don't have Samoan too? Or no? Yeah. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. All right, guys, I just checked into Tradewinds Hotel. This is, I think, the only hotel that you can actually book uh, through the website in American Samoa. All of the other places you have to call. So it was pretty convenient just being able to book this online. And it's a pretty nice hotel. It's about 180 USD per day. Um, and all of the hotels are like that here because there's no competition. Like I said, there's only about 10 hotels. So, um, you really just don't have any other options but to pay a little bit extra. There are some Airbnbs, but they're also like pretty spendy for what you get. Um, so yeah, this is the hotel today. I think I'm gonna go uh, look around American Samoa. I'm gonna try to find a place to go get my nails done because as you can see, I am missing uh, my nails and I really, really need a fill. So I'm gonna try to go get a manicure and pedicure today. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'll just be exploring the island and then I'm here for tomorrow and the next day, uh, and then I go back to Samoa. Look at this shit, guys. Wow, everything's so neat and orderly here. It's so beautiful. Guys, I went to go get my nails done at this place called Heaven's Touch here in American Samoa and they did such a nice job and they were so nice and polite. They were from Vietnam as well. <laughs> so American Samoa is very, very similar to uh, just the normal United States in that way. I've noticed that all around the world though, that most of the nail techs, um, at least in first world countries, are from Vietnam. Right now I am headed over to go get some McDonald's. So. I'm just taking, taking a nice little walk down the street. It's just around the corner. And uh, we'll go see what American Samoa's McDonald's is like. They have some really nice buildings here in American Samoa. There's DHL if you want to, oh, well, there's even a lawyer over there. Um, DHL if you want to send something or ship it. Oh, there's a Napa Auto and truck parts too over there. Huh. Hey, you guys, American Samoa has this other food chain called Tropical Fried Chicken. I've never even heard of that. I think I'm gonna stop over there and go get some fried chicken. And then we're gonna head to McDonald's. We're gonna do both. We're just gonna be a super fat American today. <laughs> Guys, we made it to the Golden Arches of American Samoa. <laughs> Let's go see if they have anything special on their menu. You guys, they have a breakfast thing with uh, Spam scrambled eggs and rice. I'm gonna come back tomorrow morning and get it because <laughs> I wanna try it with the spam. I ended up just getting um, a cheeseburger and a fry and an iced coffee and water because they didn't really have anything special except for the breakfast menu item. So I'm gonna come back for that later. This is all very good. There's nothing special about the cheeseburger though. Just a McDonald's cheeseburger, nothing bad about it. I got some fries. I do think their coffee is better. I don't know why, but this is a nice latte. We actually don't, I don't think we have iced lattes, but we also don't have these McCafés. These are only in like Europe and certain places. So the coffee is actually better than ours. And then let me, I'm gonna try this uh, chicken. I'm really excited for this. <laughs> these buns look amazing. I think they even have butter inside of them. Mm. These buns are really good. They're kind of like Hawaiian, um, Hawaiian rolls. Wow, this is a big piece of chicken. It's 
good. This is a really good piece of chicken. Mm. It's juicy, it has really good breading. And that's right up there with KFC. That's really good. 10 out of 10. Really, really good. <laughs> chicken. Hi, you guys. <clears throat> this sports complex, it's called Veterans Memorial Stadium. And it looks like they're actually sponsored by Powerade. I wonder if Powerade paid for the stadium or... It looks like it's in a little bit of disrepair right now, but it looks like they're making some renovations on it. Um, huh, that's kind of interesting. It looks like they even have a Bud Light and a Budweiser distributor up here as well. Kind of cool to come see all of these, um, like, kind of large American companies and <clears throat> this tiny little island out in the South Pacific. nice business center here in American Samoa. Right now we're walking down to go see some sharks and some turtles. Well, really we're hoping that we'll see some sharks and some turtles. This is just a scenic spot so I'm not sure if they're going to be there or not but it's close to the beach and I wanted to go check out the beach while I was here. So right now we're walking down there. It's about a 50 minute walk and we passed by a grocery store so I'm going to stop in there. It's called the KS Mart. Wow, this looks like a private residency. It's really, really green. Lots of lots of trees and plants and a little bit of everything. All right, guys, we're here at the KS Mart. This is one of their nicer grocery stores here. Let's go inside and look around. I finally found the coveted Spam Masupi, and this has egg on it too. I'm so excited. They only have three of these in the entire store, and I got one of them. Left the other two for somebody else. Look at this big pretty tree, you guys. This is right in front of um, another resort. I think it's called the Mayu Mai or something like that. It's not actually near the water though. <laughs> Even though it says beach resort. Most of the overgrown areas with a lot of um, greenery, it's, it's mostly in residential areas. But the really nice part about American Samoa is all of the commercial areas where businesses are, all the trees are cut down nicely. So it doesn't really feel like you're in uh, it doesn't really feel like you're in the jungle. You, you still have that tropical vibe, of course, because it's so green here, but it's just a lot more maintained. I think I try to take a shortcut and there's just water everywhere. It rains so much in American Samoa. It was raining today too, but it finally just cooled off. Or dried off, I should say. Oh man, look at this big puddle. Oh, that sucks. Guys, I'm going through Google Maps and this is a public road down here and some asshole put a chain through it. <laughs> and I know who it was because he came out of his house and that road is right next to their house and you're allowed to go through that road. It's a public easement. <sighs> I don't even know if I'm going to make it over to the sharks and the turtles. Here's the Seventh-day Adventist Church, or one of them, in American Samoa. It looks like this is their head office as well. 
Huh. All right. All right, guys, with the help of a taxi, we did make it to the turtle and the shark observation point or the viewing point. It's actually right up there. Let me see if I can zoom in. So we'll go up there, but I just wanted to come check out this beach first. This is such a pretty beach. I think this black rock is some old volcanic ash, maybe. That's what it looks like to me, but I'm, I'm not really certain. Usually with volcanic ash, the entire beach is, uh, is black. It's a black beach. I'm not sure if the sand is, I, I don't know. It kind of looks like the sand was imported. That's what my guess would be because a lot of beaches just have imported sand. It's not natural. And this is so different than the natural rock that I would think that the sand was, was fake maybe. Uh, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's a natural beach. This looks really nice though. I wonder if we can find some crabs over in these rocks. This looks cool. Ooh, look at these waves, you guys. Wow. Look at how they just trickle off of the rock. Look how pretty that is. Wow. Ooh, you can see little fish in the water too. Wow. This is cool. This is really pretty. I'm gonna go all the way over there. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at these little sh like fish. I think these are white bait. They look like white bait. It's hard to get them on camera. They're so quick. Yeah, they look like white bait. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's what it looks like to me. <laughs> wow. Guys, look at this little crab I found. I wonder if it'll come out of its shell. Come here, little crabby. Oh! Ah! <laughs> uh oh, I think I scared it. Oh, it's a little hermit crab. How cute. Oh. Little tiny crab. So adorable. Guys, it's so dumb, it's closed. Oh. <laughs> you guys, it took me like an hour to get here. Oh man. That sucks. Well, okay, we'll just try to utilize this little piece of hill over here as our viewing deck. Oh. I don't think I'm gonna see any turtles or sharks from here though. I highly doubt it. And there's a dog over there that doesn't like me. There's a lot of dogs in Samoa and American Samoa and they're trained to like protect their houses. They're not really pets, but they're like guard dogs. So when you're outside walking around, they all bark at you and <laughs> I love dogs. I'm such a dog person, but for some reason I get the idea that they will totally bite you. Um, like, won't think twice about it. We'll just like come out and, you know, grab your ankles or bite your ankles. Um, so yeah, you kind of have to be cautious of that. This is a really big bummer though. I thought I was going to be able to stand on this little bridge and look out. Hmm. Oh well, it's okay. This is still fun. It was cool to come see American Samoa just to compare it to regular Samoa. I think I'm just gonna sit out here and eat my spam soupy. I've been wanting this for like days, you guys. I went all around Samoa and tried to find this. I even asked two people if they had spam soupy and they looked at me like I was crazy. They have it. <laughs> so, yeah. Mm. I feel very Samoan right now. I'm outside sitting off the, the ocean, off the... <laughs> <laughs> off the rock on the ocean, watching the waves, eating some spam soupy. 
I only wish I had gotten a bottle of water because you guys, you sweat so much. Like, I, I don't think you can tell, but my whole face is like drenched in sweat, or maybe you can't tell. Um, but you sweat so much in the South Pacific, especially here in Samoa, that like you get so dehydrated so quickly. So I think I'm gonna go try to find a bottle of water somewhere, or I'm gonna grab a taxi or try to take a bus to get back to the city center because I don't wanna walk another hour. <laughs> You guys, I'm kind of disappointed. I made a reservation at the spa here at the hotel, Tradewinds Hotel, to go get a pedicure at seven. And I like rushed back here, took a shower, was all ready. And, uh, and then I went to the, the salon and they were closed. <laughs> and they're actually open from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Like even the door says 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And I went there at seven and they just had the closed door, the, the closed sign on the door. So yeah, that happens a lot in South Pacific islands. Like uh, reservations just aren't, it's like a suggestion and not an actual reservation, I guess you can say. Let's go have some fun and 
see what Samoa has to offer. So this is the street to get to Appia from the airport. All of the streets in Samoa are two lane streets. There's no large highways here, which makes the driving really kind of peaceful and easy. See that sign that says slow down <laughs> and everyone is very, very slow, which is fine. Everybody's on island time here. Uh, prepare to stop. Okay. Huh. All right. Let's see what's up here. Maybe a stop point. Anyways, we have to go find some Wi-Fi so that we can pick up Jason. I'm not sure where he is. Um, but yeah, super pretty island. Very, very nice. Uh -oh. So you guys, I've been driving around for quite some time now. I'm trying to get internet service so that I can message uh, Jason to go see where he is. He's here, but I don't know where he is in Samoa to pick him up. Um, so I'm gonna drive all the way to McDonald's. This is like an hour long drive all the way into Appia because I, I'm going into, I guess it's like a convenience store. They're like these little tiny stores that are off the side of the road and there's tons of them everywhere. It's like a convenience store. Um, and they sell SIM cards, but you know, the new, I have the iPhone 15 right now and it, there's no place in the iPhone 15 where you can put a physical SIM card. It has to be an eSIM card. So I keep stopping and asking if they have an eSIM card that I could purchase and they don't. And then I'm like, hey, do you have like the Wi-Fi password? Can I get your Wi-Fi code? And they just look at me like this and they go, mm -mm, mm -mm. they get really serious and they're like, no, no. And I'm like, oh, okay, uh, no problem. So I'm going to try to go to McDonald's. I'm kind of worried though, because I went to the McDonald's over in American Samoa and they wouldn't give me the Wi-Fi password either over there. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to do because my phone won't work. I even have like, I have unlimited international data with Google Fi. It doesn't work over here. So, um, in American Samoa too, they didn't have, uh, uh, data in American Samoa. So <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. The Church of Latter-day Saints or the Mormons have completely taken over Samoa, American Samoa, basically everywhere. There's also a huge population of Samoans uh, that live in Utah and the United States as well. So they've really made a strong presence here in the, here in the Samoan islands. So I have good news. I finally got in touch with Jason. I had to stop at the Digicel store and they were nice enough to let me use their Wi-Fi even though they do not sell eSIMs. And this, this was a, like a, a cell phone store. So um, yeah, if, if you need an eSIM, you are out of luck. Unfortunately in Samoa, I don't know if any of them sell eSIMs here, uh, many of the stores, but I finally made it to the Golden Arches and I'm gonna sit here for an hour and wait for Jason. Um, he just got off the ferry. He went to Savai as well. And you guys will hear his story from Savai. It's gonna be a much better story and <laughs> than, the, than the one I had in my video. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to destroy Savai. I actually enjoyed it, uh, believe it or not, but I, I just had a hard time there. Um, but uh, anyway, you guys can hear his perspective on it too. Um, but for right now, I'm just gonna wait for him at the McDonald's and uh, yeah, hopefully he'll be here soon. It takes an hour and the, the uh, car takes 30 minutes. So were the, nice, were the people nice that you got a ride from? Yeah, I guess who picked me up? Who? An air traffic controller. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm gonna go get a tour tomorrow. So how was um, Savai'i? It was good. You really liked it. Yeah, yeah, I did. I got on the bus and I just waited until we got to the end and then it got dark and <laughs> everyone wondered where am I going to stay and they said, oh, you miss all the hotels. And I said, hey, I'm just going down until the very end. And then I, stay, I said, where does this bus end? And I said, they said, oh, it ends in Sani uh, Sassina. And I said, I'm going to Sassina then. <laughs> And then the girl behind me says, that the girl across from you lives in Sassina. Maybe you should talk to her. <laughs> and then she talked to her for me. And she says, this guy's going to Sassina. And you should talk to him. <laughs> and, then, and then I talked to her and I said, oh, I'm trying to find a place this, tonight. Uh, can your family host me? And she's like, yeah, no problem. Oh my and gosh, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> And then I asked, who do you live with? And she's like, I live with my parents, my sister, and my two children. Wow. <laughs> and then we got off of the bus together, and she says she can, I can stay at her family's house. You know, I went to Savai'i too, and I made a video of it, but I, I had a little bit more trouble than that. Like, I didn't even attempt to do what you did. But, but they'll, they'll welcome you in. <laughs> I'm sure they would, but it's different when you're traveling as a girl. You know, you can't just like 
can ask to these, stay at people's houses and stuff. But these people are friendly. Yeah, they are. Even the they girls. are really friendly. Yeah, the that's girl true, invited me. Usually, girls don't invite guys. I agree. I totally <laughs> agree. But if you, I think if you're a woman and you go okay. stay at somebody's place and something happens and they blame you and they're like, oh well, you you're so dumb, you shouldn't have done that, you know. Oh, but so I don't I think Samoa is uh, like that because I well, even other people started inviting me. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, where are you staying? I said, I don't have a place. And they said, oh, you want, you need, a, do you have any friends here? Oh, you should, I'll be your friend. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you just hopped off the ferry and just, and just found a bus. I, I went to go get a not rental a bus. car. No, not a bus. Oh, you got a ride from someone. That's yeah. right. Um, oh my gosh. You guys. Anyways, <laughs> I didn't have that experience, but I'm glad that you did. Um, so what do you want to do first? I, I want to go see waterfalls. There's four big waterfalls here that I want to go see. All right, yeah, let's go see the waterfalls then. There's also a place called Sliding Rock. You need a bathing suit. Did you bring your bathing suit? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I didn't, and I have to go buy a bathing suit. I bought but... one. I bought another one too. Oh, I can't wear your bathing suit, Jason. You have to wear your own bathing suit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was a good one. <laughs> you guys. So I have to go buy a bathing suit, but we should go to Sliding Rock because. Yeah, let's go. We got seven shirts from Savai. Yeah. Okay. You really like the Hawaiian or the Samoan looking shirts. Yeah, they're Tanoa shirts. Tanoa shirts. Okay. Yeah, they're designed in Samoa. Okay. I got seven different tight colors, so one for each day of the week. You know, my dress is kind of like Samoan looking. Yeah. Did you get this here? I got it in New Zealand, actually. Oh. It's from a local New Zealand designer called Karen Walker. But, All right. Um, okay. Well, oh. you ready to go? You want to go see some waterfalls? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. We Okay, so hold on. Tell me what you just told me. You went to go stay at their house on Savai'i, yeah, and they I, didn't have any walls in their home? Yeah, their house didn't have any walls. It was just uh, Fale O'o. That's what they call it, the Samoan house. And just a bunch okay. of pillars. So it's pillars and a roof. Yeah. But it was all open, like open air. Yeah, and <sighs> and they had a, they had a dresser because they needed to put some clothes there, and then they had a TV. And then behind that, they just put like a plastic sheet so the TV won't get wet if it rains. So it was like a... Sh uh, plastic wall. Oh my goodness. So how many people were living in the Folly oh, oh, oh. It was like the the girl, her two kids, her mom and dad, and her sister, six. Oh my gosh. So what, was there a shower system or how, was it a bucket? That yeah, you no, shower the, shower, the shower was a standalone bathroom. It was like the toilet and then there was a wall and then there was a shower. Okay. And they had, they had um, spigots so that it was like a pipe that just came down. Oh, okay. But I took a shower this morning and it was pitch dark. <laughs> <laughs> is the water, is it coming from the ocean? Was it like... No, it's fresh water. It's fresh water. Okay. Wow. And wow. Uh, so they had three buildings. One building was the kitchen. One building was their their sleeping place. And then the other one was their hangout place. And so the parents slept on the hangout place. They gave they gave Jason their bed. That's really sweet, Jason. They, yeah. I think they slept on the floor when they gave you. But they bed. had a mat. Oh, they had a mat. Wow. They make this mat out of that uh, leaves, you know, the palm leaves. Mm -hmm. oh it was gosh. really interesting. That's really sweet. And and then they offered me the mosquito net, but I said no. And then they burnt the little coils to ward off the mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. And then at three o'clock in the morning, the the coil finished burning. And so then the mosquitoes were biting me. So I just put the sheet over my head. <laughs> and then the mom woke up and says, oh, we need to make, we need to uh, start another coil. So she went and looked for another coil, took it out of the plastic. And then she started the new coil to ward off the mosquitoes. Uh, lentils with uh, non. Lentils with non, okay. Yeah. Now we're at an Indian restaurant. We just got some smoothies at the other restaurant we went to and now we're trying this place. This looks good, and then we're gonna head over to the beach resort. Okay. So this is the foreigner. This is the plain one. Oh, excellent! Thank Thanks you. Much. All right, we are here. I'm gonna take a picture. Okay. You're welcome. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. All right, Jason, what do you think of our room? It looks like an Airbnb, doesn't it? It does look like an Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> Has AC, so that's good. Oh, I forgot to ask for the Wi-Fi password. There's I'm going to go back. There's your coffee sachets. Oh, yeah. That's great. We got some coffee here. What does the bathroom look like? Check it out. 
Oh, wow. The shower is just open. <laughs> no shower curtain? Oh, oh man. Oh, there's a piece of hair on the oh, thing. Gross. Oh, come here. Look. <laughs> it's like oh. hanging there. Right Ew. There. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Well, they lost one point on cleaning. Ew. <laughs> yeah, it's not the cleanest room, oh, look, but that's okay. Look, there's multiple doors. One, two, three, four. Oh, man. That's probably the shortcut right that's there. That's great. They plan for a fire just in case. They have all their bases covered. Our boat's in another room. I'm going to go get the Wi-Fi. Oh, maybe the Wi-Fi password is in here. That would be nice. Oh, I have Sorry. <laughs> Did you see somebody out there? Are you talking to Jason? Um, you talking to yourself? That was embarrassing. What happened? You should check it. You want to see it? No, what happened? No. What are you doing? What, what happened? I don't want to Was he naked outside? What, what happened? What was that? No. Yeah, I, don't open it. Okay. Don't, let let's me look try, out the window. Let me look out the window. No, don't try all the doors if there's beef up. What's out there? What was out there? What was out there? No, Jason. The porch. Jason, there's nobody out here. <laughs> you're, you're, what the heck? Oh, the you're you. just talking to yourself. You're crazy. Oh my gosh. That's, that's when you had breakfast. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, look yep. at this. They didn't even close this. <laughs> oh, man. That was exciting, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you felt yeah, I did. <laughs> Hey, look, we got a fan. Oh, wow. Look at this big crack in the tile. Whoa. Oh, you think a uh, uh, very fit Samoan might have done that? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Look how strong the fan is. Yeah. <laughs> There's another door. No, no, Jason, no. No more doors. <laughs> no. Can I say it? I'm already in pajamas. I don't want to go. He doesn't care. They wear togas around here. <laughs> You're gonna ask him that? You're gonna say, hey, we didn't bring our toilet paper with us? Yeah. Oh my you gosh. Can okay, I'll come okay. with you then. <clears throat> Hold on, I'm gonna lock it. <laughs> You guys, they didn't put any toilet paper in our room. <laughs> Jason's gonna go tell him that we forgot our toilet paper. <laughs> we didn't bring any with us. <laughs> oh, go. <laughs> So, sure. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, great. Thanks yeah. very much. Okay, thanks. Wow, you got the goods. Good job. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. You like that, huh? <laughs> he didn't really respond to it. Yeah, he was just like, oh, you want some toilet paper? Here you go. But some countries, you're supposed to bring your own. Yeah. Like Bolivia. Yeah, I know. That girl that I traveled with, she always carried it. Oh, oh no. And then when we left the hotel, she would take it with her. <laughs> oh, no, really? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, but, you know, in Latin American countries, you can't flush the toilet paper down the toilet. No. 
because yeah, their sewage system's not good. Yeah. Which is nuts, because like that's that should be fixed. But oh well. He's so cute. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Oh, you're so skinny. Poor thing. Hi. <laughs> All right, Jason, so we're going to breakfast. Yeah. Are seven, you excited? 7.30 until 9 a.m. Do you think they're going to have Spam Masupi? I don't know. You've been looking for it, but you said it's in the South Pacific, not specifically Samoa. Well, I found some at the grocery store the other day, but it's funny because when I ask people, they don't know what I'm talking about here. They probably don't eat it there. No, they do. They had it at the grocery store the other day in American Samoa. Well, that's American Samoa. Yeah. They're yeah, slightly you're right. Different. Yeah. That's true. All right, let's go see what they have for breakfast. Okay, thanks. It's a buffet-style breakfast. Ooh, look at that beautiful view out here. There's a little cat. <laughs> it's really cloudy today, but it's really pretty too. It's like foggy, I should say. It's very foggy. Here's Mama Cat and little baby. Hi. <laughs> You're so cute. Yeah. You guys are so adorable. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Oh, they're like twins. Oh. <laughs> cute. Oh, it's so tiny. Aww. I'm gonna go get a pancake for you guys. Moen pancake, some French toast, and this is banana and coconut milk. My poor dog only has three legs. Mm. I don't think it was born that way. But he, you don't see the... Because they're playing cricket <laughs> in their lava lavas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> lava lavas are the really long skirts that they wear. I guess they're, well, I don't know. I don't know if you consider it a skirt or not. It's a lava lava. It's a lava lava, yeah. Yeah, um, Samoa was colonized by the British, so this is a ex-British territory. It's not part of the Commonwealth anymore, Samoa. Yeah, they're happy to be independent. Yeah. But America took um, American Samoa, of course. At least we got a piece of the pie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that helped us or, or uh, hurt us. I it costs it, us quite a bit of money each year. <laughs> at least we can go there and stay there. Uh, yeah, but I don't know if it's worth billions of dollars a year. You said you, you liked your colonies because we can go there without a visa. I don't know. <laughs> They're kind of expensive. <laughs> we don't get a lot out of them. We go in Midway too. Yeah, we do. Yeah. And Guam. Yeah, and Guam. Virgin Islands. Yep. And, and Puerto, Puerto Rico. Rico. Yep. <laughs> Probably Puerto Rico is the most expensive of them. Yeah. All right, we are headed towards a waterfall. There's a, lots of waterfalls all over Samoa. Um, what's the main island that we're on called? Apulu. Apulu. Yeah, there's so many waterfalls here. It's like the land of waterfalls. So we are headed over to probably four or five waterfalls today to go see all of them. We're super excited. They go check out these
dollars. Okay, we kind of snuck in. We didn't actually pay you guys. <laughs> Jason, did you just talk your way into saving three dollars? I didn't talk my way in, I talked my way out. <laughs> yeah. It's funny because they don't tell you that it costs money when you're going in, even though they saw us go in. And then when we when we went out, then they wanted to charge us five dollars. But you can actually see that waterfall from the bridge. And he said You can. Can't. Yeah, if you guys are here and you just don't want to pay the fee, you just go to the bridge like up the road and it's free. <laughs> Let's do the bridge now. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, he lied to us. He said that the only place you can see the waterfall is from his place, but that's not true. You actually see the waterfall just from the side of the road. This is it, and then it goes down there. Yeah, where Jason is. This is even better than the other one. Huh. Yeah, look how far it's all the way over there. I'm surprised we didn't hear it from here. Yeah. That was a mistake. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a free, it's a, it's a, it's a wedding. Ah, it's a big, it's a Oh, okay, thank you. No, 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 it's a yeah. big, it's a big, it's a, it's a wedding. No, we're going to go to the free spot. Ah, it's a big, it's a, it's a, it's a big. But I think that entrance is over there. Ah, it's a big, it's a, no, no, see, no, it's a big. Yeah, it's a big, it's a wonderful. Oh, okay. But from the bridge, it's free. Ah, it's a free, it's a rubber thing. Yeah. Ah, it's a big, it's a rubber thing. Oh, okay. All right, thanks for explaining. I don't know, it's a pay, it's a, it's a Yeah, I know, we're gonna go up there. It's a pay, it's a pay. Okay, we'll go to the free spot. It's a pay, it's a pay. I know it's free, I know it's, you can't hear, but it's free over there. Ah, yeah, pay, it's a pay, it's a wonderful. Okay, we'll go to the free spot, thanks. No, 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 no. What? I used to pay, it's a hammy, it's a rainy, it's a wonderful. Yeah, we don't want to pay. Yeah, it's a man, it's a wonderful. We don't have tallets. Uh, I buy tallets. It's a, it's a poor, it's a, it's a pay. Oh, okay, sorry. Thanks. Okay. No, 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 no. What? We want to go to the free spot. We're, yeah, we're going to the free spot. Okay, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to the free spot. Hey, hey, hey. No, 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 no. No, dude. I almost just opened the car door. That's kind of scary.
So you actually own the waterfall? Yep. Oh, okay. Alright, uh, what can we go to see for free though? The beepers? <laughs> yeah? No. Not even beepers? Beepers first. First, okay. Alright, uh, can we go see the beach instead for free? No, you pay the money. Oh, okay. Alright, we'll go to another place then. Okay. Good? Alright, thanks. So Jason, what happened with this lady? She says we can park there and go down. Yeah. But then when we became serious about it, she said it's 20 talas each, so that's 40 talas to go there. Yeah, 20 each. That's like... So 40 talas divided by 3.7 is, like is 15 dollars. Yeah, 15 dollars for two people just to go look at a waterfall. You can't even like swim at it or do anything. So if you go see all the waterfalls, 15 times... How many waterfalls are there? Five? There's at least 10 here. Like if you really wanted to go see all of them. So it costs us a hundred bucks to visit the waterfalls. That's it. That's, <laughs> yeah. yeah. She says that's the only way they make money around here. Yeah. <laughs> All of these palm trees kind of look cool. They're all spaced out. Off to the next waterfall. Let's see if we can go for free. <laughs> Here's some more red flowers over to the left, but it's only a couple. Oh, I want to touch those. Okay, so there are these um, flowers. They give you like a natural, they use them for hair conditioning, actually, oh. like shampoo. And it's those red ones that we just saw. They have them in yellow, too. I want to stop and like touch those. That's cool. Sopoaga waterfall? Yeah. I wonder how much this one's going to be. Let's go see, guys. Oh, it's right into someone's house. Yeah, it's right into somebody's house. That's yeah. right. <laughs> There. All the viewing locations are in front of somebody's. Uh, oh, right here, right here. Folly, folly, oh, oh, oh. Folly, oh, oh. Folly, oh, oh. You gonna do it? Go see how much it is. Oh, I gotta get my. You want me to come with you? No, I got this. Okay. Alright, I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Jason's gonna go haggle him and see how much the waterfall is to go see. You guys, you might think that we're just really, really cheap, and you'd be correct, we are. But in almost every other country that you go to, the waterfalls, they're free. <laughs> like, you don't you don't charge somebody to go look at a waterfall. Like, if it's a waterfall that you can swim into, or if there's a tour of the waterfall, like something, some kind of service provided, then you charge. But to charge people just to, like, come into your backyard and look at something that's part of, like, public land is is not... That's not a, that's not good. So that one cost ten. Yeah, there's no way to do it for free. She said, <laughs> but she said you can go to Papa Itai and that's free. Oh, okay. Yeah. So there's a free one. Okay, Papa Itai. Papa Itai. Okay. All right, stop. All right, this one's called Talofa. Welcome. Well, that just means welcome. You have to pay first. No, it's not man, but their house. They can view who comes here. If it's rainy, you can use the umbrella. Otherwise, it's 10 ta talas per person, and it says if no one's around to collect your entrance fee, fee please put the money in the magic honesty box. Alright, there you go, thanks. <laughs> That's so colorful here. Yeah, it is. All right, what's our next destination? Another waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The Tusua Ocean Trance, it's 20 tala per adult. So $15, 15 USD for two adults. How long has it been open? We open uh, like from 7 o'clock to 5 o'clock. Okay, and how many but years yeah. has it been here? Sorry. Like when did, how many years have you been open? Like this has been around since like 20 years or? Yeah, it's more than 20 years. Oh, more than 20 years. Yeah. All right, thanks. Have, do you have any pictures? Uh, no? Yeah. <laughs> is that, is, is those uh, tubes for swimming? Yeah. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So otherwise, you have like a convenience store we can buy some stuff? Yep. Do you have any coconuts? Sorry, not, not no? today. Water? 
Yes, we are. Okay, we'll check water. Okay. Okay. All right. We'll be in here. Thanks. Hey guys, the pool is just around. Well, it's inside of that little fenced area, but it's not really. It's it's just like a pool of water. <laughs> I thought it was like in a cave or something. There's a ladder that goes down to it and then you go swimming. Yeah, but it's just a it's just a hole with water in it. Anyway, we're what, gonna go to the beach. What would we call it? What would we call it a um would, is it like a cenota like in Yeah, but cenotas are yeah, but those are natural. Oh okay. These are natural too. Like yeah, some... but that's just a hole with water in it. Oh okay. Do you like the taxi? Yeah, it tastes like raspberry. Yeah, those are pretty good. All right, we are off to the beach. We got some of these cocoa loa. This is milk chocolate with almonds inside. This is Samoan chocolate, and this is made here in Samoa. Cocoa means chocolate here. You see it means cocoa. cocoa everywhere. But K-O-K-O. -K -O. Oh, that kind of cool. Cocoa. Yeah. It's just spelled differently, but it sounds the same, cocoa. Is it pretty good? I like them. It tastes like anyone, any other one I've tasted. That's good though. Yeah, I guess. Mm, I like it. Would okay. that be a good Valentine's gift? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's unique. And it's chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Alright, off to the... Guys, this poor little doggy is so skinny. And I don't have anything to feed him. I have chocolate, but I'm not going to feed him chocolate, obviously. Poor thing. Oh, this horse is so skinny. Oh, this is so sad. Oh, it makes me so sad. Uh, I, I don't know, it might bite you. It's a small little horse. Oh, you poor thing. Oh, it's so skinny. <laughs> Oh, Jason, don't scare it. It'll kick you. Hey, look, the dog is going right underneath your car. Don't run over him. Oh, I won't. Oh, he's just hot. Poor thing. Oh, it's so hot out here. Oh. Yeah, that, that horse is free. I guess they're going to come get it later. Yeah. Oh, this poor thing. Oh my gosh. This this almost makes me sick to look at how skinny this horse is. You guys, if you don't know, I like I'm such an animal lover and <laughs> this just makes me so sad to look at this. But this he's, is he's tied up, the other guy's not. So. I know, but they shouldn't be tied they shouldn't do that. That is so sick. His hip bones are sticking out. Oh my god. Oh, that's terrible. gosh oh you poor thing all uh, yeah gosh I feel so awful for these poor horses I mean all of them look like this too I will say hello be careful don't scare him hey horsey mm. are you hungry poor thing you gotta feed horses hay they can't just eat grass like this it's not enough for them it's not enough for their diets oh, poor thing Uh, it's turning its butt to you. That means it disrespects you. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Horses are mean. Be, be careful. It'll turn and kick you. Don't, don't let it kick you. We gotta find the owner. Nah, uh, they're probably those people. Oh, there's another one. It's so skinny up back there. God, that is terrible. Does this look like paradise? No, honestly, no. <laughs> That's how it could turn, I mean, it could, you could turn it into paradise, you know? Like you could, it has potential, but when, I don't know, it's, Here, I'll get a picture. it's not there yet. Yeah, the roads are much better here than in the Caribbean, that's for sure. And it rains a lot here too, so they have the same mudslides that the Caribbean has. But the roads are a lot, lot nicer.
a blue. <laughs> Along the south, you can drive right next to the ocean and see all the waves. It's really pretty. Nice. Oh, there's some people on the beach over there. is really pretty. So Jason, you just met like kind of like a somebody lying on a He table. was taking his nap and we woke him up. <laughs> yeah. And you went up and asked him if you could I I went to see if I could just see the beach, but he says I I have to pay him 30 talas, which is $10 just to see the beach, but the beach was there and you snuck in again. <laughs> I didn't even sneak in. There was nothing to sneak in to. That's oh, the thing. Okay. There's no there's no area that's if, designated. This is... If we didn't have to wake him up, then he wouldn't have asked us. Every time that we go Let's look at something, kids. it's like you have to walk around with your eyes closed because <laughs> they just ask you for money and tell you, oh, you're a tourist, you have to pay for it. We should stop at one of the huts that don't have anyone living on it. You want to stop here? Yeah. Okay. So people are living at these huts? No, that's a dairy, that's their day hut. Oh, their day hut, okay. Yeah. They go to their home during the night and then over here they come to relax. Yeah. People come and relax in these folly ojos. Folly ojos. These are just small ones near the beach that you go sit on or lay down on. There's some coconuts that fell down. You guys, they make the little, what are they called? They're not curtains, but they have these little like things made out of leaves. leaves. Yeah. And they put them around the empty uh, folly o's and then it covers it to make it private. Look at what we found, you guys. <laughs> the trees have actually grown into the equipment. Can you believe that? I can't believe that. It's been here such a long time. Wow, who just leaves a big piece of equipment like this just out without, I, that's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Holy cow. It's like cemented into the ground. What? Okay, look this way. Okay. Yeah, this is unheard of. Yeah, this is like really interesting. Wow. Maybe it just got stuck here? Or, I don't even know. Why would you do this? <laughs> this is so unusual. Upalu, Upolo. Yeah, there you go. Upalu. <laughs> anyway, I think, the, um, I think the beaches in Savai are probably the best ones out of American Samoa here. Upalu. Upalu. <laughs> and Savai, Savai. Would you agree? Yeah, they're nice over yeah. there. Yeah, the beaches to like towards the eastern northern part of Savai are really, really pretty. They're really pretty here too, but the water is like especially blue and clean over in Savai. Um, but these beaches are great too. Where, where are we gonna go next? We're gonna make a loop around and maybe see some more beaches and go we'll have dinner in Apia. Yeah, and then we're gonna go see your friend later. Yeah. Yeah. Poor people completely totaled their car. They were going too fast off of that bridge, it looks like, and they ran their car into the side. It, the airbags came out and everything. We're gonna ask if they need a ride. 
sideways. No, oh, poor people. So they just said they were going too fast, but they're fine. They they're were going injured. too fast at that bridge and they saw that curve and they couldn't turn in time and then their car slid this way and started going that way. Mm. Bummer. S speed's dangerous. It is dangerous. You wouldn't expect it from somebody local though, because you think that they would know every turn. Yeah. There's so only so many roads. Like if you grow up here your whole life, you would know where all the turns are. Yeah. But yeah, I guess it can happen to anybody. So now it's raining. We were gonna go see two other waterfalls, but do you just wanna skip them? Yeah, I don't like walking in the rain. I don't either. And in then they're just gonna lights. hassle us for money if we try to go look well, at a waterfall might for two be seconds. Hiding in their house, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. We might be able to sneak in their backyard. <laughs> they, but, won't, uh, you, they won't even want to harass us because they'll get wet. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're just gonna head back to a PM. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, to and go to get some, restaurant. some dinner. Yeah. This is the biggest waterfall in Samoa. Can you pronounce the name of this waterfall, Jason? I think it was called Papa Itai. Papa Itai. It has like three or four P's. It's like Papa 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 yeah. Itai. Yeah. I remember it because it, Papa is like Papa. Oh. oh, the other car. The other guy was a back too, wasn't it? Yeah, oh, this poor dog is missing a back leg. Oh. Oh, Should you poor thing. No, don't make him walk. Well, because then it'll be, oh. you can see it in the video. Oh, his legs just got, yeah, it's just ripped right off. Gosh, this, that's disgusting. They need to take better care of their animals. Shame yeah. on you, Samoa, for not taking care of your animals. That's not cool. Um, yeah, I really don't like that. No, don't, hey, Jason, don't make him walk. He's scared shit. of you. Oh, he, he doesn't know how to do that. It's okay. It's okay. Are you scared? Baby, talk to him. Hey, hey little doggy. Hey. Say hello to the camera. Nice dog. Oh. Hey, oh, you poor thing. This is the third dog that we've seen that's missing a leg. Where was the second one? It was on the side of the road. Yeah. Hey, doggy, doggy. Hmm. He seems pretty friendly otherwise. Oh. Oh. Oh, poor thing. Oh, he God. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that makes me so sad. If he loses any uh. more legs, it's going to be hard for him to even walk. Oh, I know. I know. Oh, I know. Don't think about that. Oh. Oh, okay. So we're going to head over to Appia. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we're going to go get some dinner. Yeah. Oh, I wish I had food to feed him. I only have chocolate and I can't give him chocolate. I don't think you're supposed to feed chocolate to dogs. No, I know. I, I'm not going to. Okay. How do you say it? Pa, 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 i, ta, i. <laughs> pa, 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 i, ta, i, ta, i, i, ti? Pa, 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 i, ti. Pa, 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 i, i, ti. <laughs> no, it's not ET. That's a mouthful. Maybe that's the tongue twister here. I think that's the only free waterfall. Yeah, because you can't walk yeah. to it. Yeah, that's and you can why. see it from such a far ways away. Yeah, no one, no one would be able to uh, catch you here because it's like a mile away. <laughs> yeah. The, cur the curry house, um, so Jason can find some vegan food. And they have bubble tea here. I'm so excited. Uh, this should be Alright, and it's spicy? Yeah, no, not uh, medium spicy. Medium, okay, great, thanks. With your basket, uh, okay. And here's the rice. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yes. Yeah. Alright, I'll ask next time. Thanks. Thank you. So, Jason, what just happened? <laughs> they gave us a menu, but all the prices were actually inflated that they didn't tell us. Yeah, and then they we took the menu when we went to go pay and we were like, hey, the prices were actually like 20 instead of 25 and like 5 instead of 7. They and they said, were like, yeah, what they, they say? They said, oh, everything, we should have told you earlier. Yeah. So, Isn't that so crazy that they wouldn't just say, oh, I'm so sorry, it's our fault, here's your money back? Yeah. Like, 
So now I'll never believe a menu again. I know. That's what makes you untrusting as a tourist because you have this happen to you so many times over and over again that you just don't want to come back to the place. It's yeah. kind of, it's, it's a bummer. It's here. Looks like they're doing some renovations here. It's around the belt nowadays. And we're headed to this seafood restaurant called Sales on the Peninsula. We have to turn left over here. Oh, that's a big one. That's a, what do you call it? That's a banyan tree, I think. It's down this road. So, so you guys, this little strip right before you get to Sales Bar and Restaurant, um, it's really, really nice. All the hotels here are really nice. The one that we just went past was called Lava and it looked pretty fancy inside. It had a restaurant called 1905. That one looked pretty good too. This looks like a pretty cute hotel. The Millennia Hotel. And all of these, of course, they're right off the, um, the coast. I think this might be where the ships come in, like um, the tourist ships or the, uh, what are they called when you go on a cruise? Yeah, on a cruise yacht. ship. Cruise ship. How do you know cruises come here? Maybe well, too small. There's a harbor in Appia. So I've I never seen any cruises here. Maybe just it's, yachts. It's right there where we were. All the like the really ships. big cruises? Yeah, I think there's cruises that come here. That They were right next to the um, shipping containers near the ferry. Maybe so, the small cruises. Yeah, I don't think the 3,000 ones come here. Oh, okay. Well, you anyway, really, this you little... You need a really deep dock for that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so anyway, this little strip though is, is really, um, it's kind of a nice area. They have really cute little restaurants and hotels and stuff here. This is also where their parliament building is. This is the Samoan parliament building to the left. So that's kind of cool to go see. Did you grab a taxi? I grabbed a taxi from the counter. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> you ordered a taxi. This looks so good. We stopped to go get some fuel and we noticed that there's this off-brand 7-Eleven. It's called 724. <laughs> We're going to go meet um, Jason's friends that he made here the first time he was in Samoa. The husband works for the government. I think he's like the mayor or something. He has a government job. And then the wife um, is like really sweet. She's in her 60s. So we're going to go hang out with them for a little bit. Ready? I bought, I bought blue water because you liked it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we just met Jason's friends that he met the first time he came to Samoa and Jason, what does your friend do here in Samoa? He works in the government. Yeah, he's a parliament member, one of the 52 parliament members here in Samoa. So we're going to go stay at their place for tonight, and then in the morning we'll get up early and head over to the airport. Um, but yeah, pretty pretty cool. Do you think you'll get Samoan citizenship and sponsorship? Yeah, he said you got he, offered, the in? <laughs> he offered it to me. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. It's our very last morning. We're at the airport and we're on a flight headed to Fiji. How was our trip to Samoa? It was good. I caught up with you with Sabai. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we had a lot of fun. Yeah, I would definitely come back here. It was, it was awesome.